Hi, I'm going to be documenting my gallbladder removal surgery recovery from the surgery I had today on July 17, 2019. As you can tell from listening to me right now, I sound extremely hoarse. This is nowhere near how I normally sound. And my mouth is so dry right now, it's not even funny. I've already drank a little bit in the hospital and on my way home, and I'm still hoarse sounding like this. So I guess as the days go on and I make updates, we'll see when that goes away. Maybe it, it just lasts a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, I have had surgeries before, and I've never felt this hoarse, like, and this dry in my mouth from it before. So this is something new to me, and it took me by surprise because I did have a six-plus hour surgery on my back, and I don't recall ever sounding like this or having such a dryness from it. Um, perhaps it's because I was able to eat and drink right afterwards um, once they got me into my room, which right now I have no appetite. But I wanted to share this journey with people, and I just wanted to document something on day one. Although right now, I feel like I've been kicked by a kangaroo or two under my right rib cage, especially where that gallbladder pain is. Uh, it's in the middle, and it's also on the left. I'm thinking it's because my gallbladder was cauterized from my liver, and things are just really upset right now, really sore, really angry from the trauma of surgery. And fortunately, now that it's gone and I'm all put back together, the healing process has begun. So I look forward to that. But I just wanted to do this short video to say, please follow me if you're interested in seeing how my journey goes. I um, plan on getting back into my workout routines and continuing to train for Spartan races and half marathons once I'm clear to do so, and I feel up to it. But for now, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what the incisions look like after having surgery, or at least what they look like for me. I had the minimally evasive surgery, which most people probably will have if you have a gallbladder removal surgery, and you are filled with some sort of gas from what I was told, so I'm extremely bloated. So I'm hoping that goes away soon because it's uncomfortable and I'm already feeling more and more uncomfortable as time goes by. Um, my fiance right now is picking up my pain medications, so I plan on taking those and staying on top of those when he gets home so that I'm more comfortable. But after I get done with this very short video, I'm going to take a nap. My lips are so dry, I feel like they're going to stick together, by the way. As, um... Things get better with my voice. You'll see that this is not what I sound like either. But for now, this is how I sound. But I just wanted to give you a quick show of what my incisions look like. So you kind of know what to expect. I'm sure you probably have looked them up on the internet. But this is just my video that I wanted to post just to share with others in case they wanted to watch somebody's journey and see how it goes. So these are my incisions. This is one that I have. This is another that I have. That is the third one. There's a total of four. And then let me see if I can get to the last one. And this is my last one right here. The reason, in case you're asking it about the last one with my belly button, um, why it might look the way it does, is because I've also had an emergency surgery done through that area last February. Well, actually, February 2018. So there was already an incision made there, and I had a surgery done in 2016 where an incision was made through there. So there's kind of like additional damage, I guess you could say, because of that. But I just wanted to show you what those incisions look like post-op day one. They said that they are just put together through some sort of adhesive. I can't remember the name of them. The name of it adhesive, however, um, eventually it will just dissolve and I won't have it there anymore. So thankfully, no staples, stitches, anything like that. I'm extremely tired right now. However, I just wanted to post a short video because it might interest people who are, were very active prior to this uh, because I was very active prior to this and I want to get back to working out, which they say I should be able to start doing in three weeks. And I just wanted to keep a video copy of this and 
share it with other people who might be going through a similar situation to see how it goes. And just, you know, for me personally, I like watching the experiences that other real people have versus just reading things on the internet because it kind of makes it more personal to me and it helps me, I guess, relate to it better when I see somebody else from day one, what what they went through, what they sounded like, what they looked like, how they felt to recovery and when they're back to normal. So I hope you enjoy my journey and I look forward to a speedy recovery, a healthy recovery with no complications and I will catch up with you soon and update you. In the meantime, please hit subscribe if you want to follow me and I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, please post them, any comments or any advice for me that I might, you know, as we go through the videos and as I post updates, any advice that I might be able to benefit from. I look forward to sharing my journey with you and I hope it may help somebody going through the same thing. And I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon.